I'm back. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make another fun, easy, and genuine Christmas gift idea that you can give away this holiday season. If you missed part one of this series, make sure you check out my last video because today's video is part two. Today we're talking all about Christmas ornaments. Now, when it comes to Christmas ornaments, there are a lot of options. You can make them, you can buy them, you can <laughs> steal them. No, we are not stealing, we are making or buying. No stealing. Besides, if we learned anything from the Grinch is that you can't steal Christmas. You can only steal wreaths and trees and ornaments. <laughs> I think I'm sending mixed signals here. Today we are making, not stealing, homemade Christmas ornaments. And I know what you're thinking, when you give someone a gift, especially a homemade gift, you want it to be something really nice or genuine or something they'd really enjoy receiving. You don't really wanna go the route of a popsicle stick with two googly eyes and a red pom-pom and be like, there you go, it's Rudolph, you're welcome. And then they're like, oh gee, thanks, this is great. Well, no worries, because today I'm gonna show you how to make some really nice ornaments that pretty much anyone would appreciate receiving and hanging on their Christmas tree every year. These ornaments look like a lot of effort was put in, they're very nice, and yet they're still pretty easy and fun to make. My name is Bethany, and this is Joyful Habits. Hey everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful December so far. Thank you so much for stopping by and choosing to hang out with me for a bit. For today's homemade gift idea, we are making homemade Christmas ornaments. All I did was go online and search Christmas trees, circles, gingerbread men, stars. I cut out the shapes and then I used that to trace the shape onto felt. I really love felt. It's extremely inexpensive, easy to work with, and I just, I like the look of it. I think it looks really nice. So I'm starting here with our Christmas tree. As I said, I just traced it, cut it out using green felt. And then I grabbed some embroidery thread and started to embroider it. My embroidery for this one is pretty simple. I'm just doing little like twinkly stars and then I used a green embroidery thread to attach the two together. Which reminds me, make sure that you cut out two identical, you know, trees or two identical circles because we're not just making a flat ornament. We are going to put the two ends together and stuff them with stuffing. I really love making these types of crafts too because, well obviously for these ones I made them here on the video so I can show you guys, but normally when I'm making things like this I'll be cuddled up on the couch watching a Christmas movie, I'll have a cup of hot cocoa next to me, and a cuddly blanket, and I'll just be, you know, stitching away, embroidering, or putting these together as we're watching our Christmas movie, and I don't know, it's just really relaxing and really fun. Now, like I said, obviously here I'm not doing that because <laughs> I'm sharing with you. But when you're making these ornaments, you can certainly be cuddled up on the couch watching a Christmas movie. So with the leftover green embroidery thread, I used that and just looped it around so that would be the thing that we hung the ornament with. I liked what I had so far, but I really just felt like it needed a little something more. So I grabbed some of my red ribbon and made a little bow, but I thought with how shiny it was and uh, sort of bright, it didn't quite fit the ornament. I Because I, I thought it made the tree look a little dull in comparison. So instead, I grabbed some more of the red embroidery thread that I had used uh, to embroider the tree and just tied that into a bow. And I left the ends of the bow really long and kind of let it hang down the tree. I was going to cut those a little shorter, but I don't know, I kind of like the way it looks draped over the tree. I did also think about maybe taking a little gold piece of felt and cutting out a star and then putting, you know, stuffing it and everything like I had done with the tree and then putting that on top of the tree, but I did end up really 
liking the uh, the bow on top. I attached the bow by just sewing it to the tree, but you could also just grab a hot glue gun and attach it that way. All right, I'm really excited for this next one. I wanted to make some little gingerbread ornaments, and so I found this felt that I thought was the perfect color. And just like before, we're just tracing out our gingerbread man and cutting it out. Make sure you do too, because again, we're going to be sewing them together and stuffing it. So then I started to play around with some little mini pom-poms that I had and the ribbons and the string, but I didn't quite like how that was looking. I then had the idea to take red felt and cut out a little pair of shorts or like a little shirt for the gingerbread man. And yes, I know, I am using a red pen on red felt. Yeah, I guess I just had a moment there because obviously the red pen didn't really show up on the red felt. So I had to get a black pen so it would show up uh, what I was tracing. It was really late when I was filming this video, as usual, because <laughs> I usually film these videos after work in the evenings. Yeah, I guess I was tired. <laughs> so I cut out these really cute little shorts, and then I decided to make some suspenders out of some sparkly red yarn that I had, then make a bow as well. Really liked how this was coming out so far. I thought it was really cute. So now that I knew how I wanted the design to look, I just started to sew the two gingerbreads together and stuff it. And that way it would be all put together and ready for me to decorate. So I'm just using some basic like Elmer's glue here. I did later go back and attach everything with a hot glue gun, but at the time it was late, I was tired, and I didn't feel like digging through my craft bin trying to find my hot glue gun, so <laughs> I just kind of used what I had. But uh, I would definitely recommend if you're doing this to use a hot glue gun because it will just hold a lot better. And then if you saw my Christmas video last year where I made those homemade cinnamon ornaments, you might recognize that I'm using puff paint again. Really love this stuff. It looks just like icing. It has a fine tip so it's easy to decorate with. gingerbread man isn't he so cute now because I cannot leave well enough alone I wish I just left it alone I was like well maybe if I make his eyes bigger he'll look cute and he doesn't really look cute I he kind of just looks creepy now so uh, I was like well great I ruined it so I quickly while the paint was still wet I brought Mr. Gingerbread Man to the sink and gave him a little bath and wiped his face off <laughs> so we could start again. <sighs> so yeah, I guess I should have just left that alone, but it's okay, it came off. So before attempting to repaint Mr. Gingerbread's face, I decided to make a second one, and I decided to make Mr. Gingerbread Man a little lady friend. So I cut out this cute little dress and uh, made a little hair bow. And once again, once I had kind of figured out the design, I went ahead and stitched the two pieces together, stuffed them with stuffing, and then uh, stitched it all together. So as I was putting the dress on, I thought the sleeves were a little too long and kind of going all the way to her fingertips. So I tried to trim that back a little bit. 
and then I took two of these little mini pom-poms that I had and decided to attach them kind of like two little buttons. Then I took the puff paint and added the little gingerbread icing along the side and decided to add a cute little collar. As well as some trim along the bottom of her dress. Okay, and now to make the faces. I learned from the first one that I'm just going to make the face and then leave it alone. I'm not going to try and mess with it. And I think this looks okay. Alright, and now for a second attempt at <laughs> poor Mr. Gingerbread Man's face. Hopefully it comes out just as cute as it did before. How cute are these guys? Now, if you make gingerbread men yourself, you can certainly change up the color scheme. You'll notice I'm very much going for the traditional Christmas colors, a lot of red, but you could certainly add little buttons, all kinds of fun things you can do with those guys. Now this next one we're making, think is my favorite. I don't know. I think this one and the gingerbread men are kind of tying for first. Very simple, but I just love how this one turned out. So I took some cream colored felt. I'm not sure if you can tell on the camera, but it's not a stark white color. And I took some red embroidery thread and just started to stitch the two circles together, which again, it was late. I was tired. I should have done my embroidery on the first piece before I put them together, kind of like I did with the tree, but it's okay. I, I was still able to do it. I embroidered this red snowflake in the middle and then stuffed it like I did the others and continued to stitch it together. So beautiful. I don't know, it's so simple, but there's just something about it I love. And then I took that little bow that I had made earlier and put it on top really nice. I love how this turned out. And I just took some more of the red embroidery thread to make a little loop to hang it by. But isn't that just so nice? I love it. Love how this one turned out. I loved it so much I decided to make another one but sort of reverse the colors using red felt and then a cream colored embroidery thread. And this time I remembered to embroider the one side before putting them together so that made things a lot easier. And I embroidered, you know, this little snowflake in the middle and then put the two ends together, stuffed it, continued to stitch it together. You know the drill by now. Now I will say I continue to make more ornaments off camera. I had so many ideas, variations of these ornaments and you know again the star shape I wanted to use and the heart shape and different colors and different designs but I knew I had to stop somewhere so I could start editing this video and get it out for you. But like I say in every video, the possibilities really are endless and I was having so much fun with this one. These not only make great ornaments, obviously, but they make really great gifts and really great stocking stuffers. So if you're looking for ideas of something really cute to tuck in everyone's stocking, a homemade ornament is a really great idea. And you can personalize these to the person you're giving it to. So if they have a favorite color or, you know, say you have a friend who loves baking, you could make the gingerbread man and then have them holding a little mini rolling pin or a cookie or something. Just something kind of fun like that. 
I hope this has inspired you to pick up some felt and embroidery thread and ribbon at your local craft store or I'll try to link as much as I can in the description box. Like I said, I highly recommend cuddling up on the couch with a cozy blanket, a cup of cocoa, and a Christmas movie that you love. You know, just stitching away at your ornament while watching, watching a Christmas movie and sipping cocoa. It's really relaxing and makes for a really peaceful Christmassy evening. I have more Christmas gift ideas coming, so if you're not already, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. And if you have time and you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and say hi in the comments below because I would really love to hear from you. With that being said, my name is Bethany. This is Joyful Habits, where we daydream and add a touch of whimsy to the ordinary. I'll see you all very soon, and until then, keep smiling. Bye, friends.